This is the pavilion at Fort Ticonderoga. It was built in 1826 by William Ferris Pell, and he and his family occupied it as their summer home until his death in 1840. By the mid-1840s, the building was serving as a hotel, a function that it served through the end of the 19th century. In 1909, the museum's founder, Stephen Pell, and his wife, Sarah, launched a renovation of this building and occupied it for the next several decades. After Stephen Pell's death in 1950, his son John and his wife Pirma then occupied this building as their summer residence through the period of time that he managed the fort, ending in 1987. Today, Fort Ticonderoga is in the midst of a project to plan the future use of this important historic structure. And for the first time ever, Fort Ticonderoga is offering special tours of this building, where we'll talk about its history, its use, and how it has changed over the years. So join us this summer as we go behind the doors into the building and examine what this building has to tell us about Fort Ticonderoga's past. As we venture through the pavilion, its corridors and many rooms, we'll talk about its history, what we know about how the building was used, and a bit about what we know about how the building has changed. We'll look behind doors of closets where we'll see evidence of windows and doors that have long since been sealed over, providing some evidence of how this building has changed, in some cases we think dramatically, over the 190 or so years that it has stood here on this peninsula. On the second floor, we'll have a look at spaces that were occupied by the Pell family, as well as spaces down the corridor that were occupied by the staff who worked in this building in the 20th century. In addition, sometimes hidden beneath several layers of paint, we'll actually see evidence of how this building was used as a hotel in the 19th century. So join us as we begin this process of discovery and learn what the pavilion can tell us about Fort Ticonderoga's past. This is a very exciting time here at Fort Ticonderoga. The exploration of this building is the first step in a many-year phase of improving our presentation of the site's history for the visitor, and we look forward to sharing the discoveries that we make in this building and others as time goes by.